recommend four winter tyres is so that you can maintain steering control and braking control at all four corners. The difficulty with having just two winter tyres and the, and the reason people question this is that on a rear wheel drive car they would normally put the winter tyres on the rear. That won't let you stop. That won't let you steer. In the braking demonstration, the sedan again stops safely before the marker. While the two winter tires on the truck don't make much of a difference, it finally stops after the marker. Will the two winter tires on the rear of the truck give it any improvement in the cornering demonstration? The answer is no. The all-season equipped front end finds no traction. Winter tires on all wheels is the best setup for winter driving conditions. Uh, on sait, ça a été démontré que La montée quatre nuits d'hiver sur un véhicule assure la meilleure adhérence possible, soit dans la neige ou sur la glace. All of the best-selling cars in Canada are front-wheel drive vehicles. For this comparison, the red Mitsubishi has four all-season tires installed. The silver Toyota is equipped with four winter tires. We made a special uh, precaution to equalize the vehicles. One vehicle didn't have ABS, then we disconnected the other vehicle with ABS. So, for the most part, uh, we tried to take the technology out of the system. Uh, we did allow the ABS to work in most of the cases, except for the front-wheel drive vehicles. It was only those that were a mismatch in pairing, and so we had to disconnect the ABS on the second uh, front-wheel drive vehicle. In our braking demonstration, the two vehicles approach at the same speed. At a predetermined point, both apply the brakes hard. The silver car with winter tires stops well before the target. The all-season equipped red car slides right through the target. In the cornering demonstration, the red car attempts to match the speed of the silver car. But its all-season tires can't match the grip of the winters, and the red car slides off the outside of the corner. What about the car factor, you say? Maybe one car is better than the other. Okay, let's switch the tires. Let's put the all-season tires on the silver Toyota and install four winter tires on the red Mitsubishi. In the braking demonstration, the red car easily stops before the target. The silver car now slides much further than before and well past the target. In the cornering demonstration, the all-season equipped Toyota can't make the turn, while at the same speed, the winter-tired Mitsubishi easily negotiates the corner. But do you really need to buy four winter tires? Wouldn't two do just as well? We install two winter tires on the front wheels of the silver Toyota. But leave the all-season tires at the rear. The red Mitsubishi still has winter tires at all four corners. Let's see if there's a difference in the braking demonstration. Not only is the Toyota unable to stop before the marker, Less grip in the rear than the front leads to a loss of control and a sideways slide. It's a huge control problem, uh, which is really brought about uh, graphically by front-wheel drive car, because a front-wheel drive car has so much more weight on the front wheels, so it has more traction there normally. And when you have the winter tires on the front, you've added to that traction capability on the front, but you haven't added anything to the back of the vehicle. So the, the difficulty is that as you're stopping, the front end is literally slowing down much quicker than the back end is due to traction. So the back end, of course, wants to go faster than the front end, which means it will overtake the front, which means it will spin the vehicle. In the cornering demonstration, the new setup results in the same thing, a slide at the rear of the Toyota and loss of control. Winter tires on all wheels is the best setup for winter driving conditions. With front-wheel drive, if you've got two good tires on the front and two worn or wrong season tires on the back, the consequence is that you have a vehicle that performs very well, at least as far as you can tell, until the moment it lets go, and then it becomes vicious. And we did see the situations here, and we're talking at about very low speeds, 20, 30, 40 kilometers an hour, where the whole back end of the vehicle comes around. Obviously, at highway speeds, um, on uh, public roads, that's not a situation you want to be in. It's something that we hear on a regular basis and that people should really understand is the importance of having four winter tires on any vehicle, be it a front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive, trying to get away with only buying two tires. It's, it just doesn't work. I think the, the general message to, to get out there is that uh, we're, we're riding on quite sophisticated pieces of equipment and the, the need to balance 
all four positions on a vehicle is extremely important. Ce qui ressort des démonstrations qui ont été faites aujourd'hui, c'est la preuve finalement que on peut pas garder une, la meilleure adhérence possible, le meilleur contrôle de son véhicule en ayant des pneus d'été ou des pneus toute saison sur un véhicule en hiver. The winter tires have uh, distinct improvements in terms of handling and traction. Uh, more safety in terms of stopping distance and handling uh, at speeds. So there's a, there's a decided difference. The results are actually very dramatic, surprising even in these low speed demonstrations. Uh, you can see that the winter equipped, tire equipped vehicle always braked better, uh, almost always went through the corner uh, quite a lot more cleanly than the all season equipped tire. Um, and when you're driving every day, you won't see those differences every day. But once in a while, you will need the extra margin of safety from the better tire, and you've got to be equipped for that.